Hello everyone, welcome to Leads Back. I am Sanjay. Before we get into the video, I just want to say that if you guys check our YouTube channel, you can see that most of our videos are in Malayalam, which is my native language. So today I am going to create a new playlist called Leads Back in English, uh, where I'll be creating videos on WordPress web designing, digital marketing, and uh, other tutorials, uh, so that people outside Kerala can also watch and learn. So I'll be creating videos in both the languages, English and Malayalam. Uh, yeah, that's it. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this website for completely free. Like all the resources used in this video is going to be free. So let me first uh, show you the website. Okay, uh, so this website is hosted on a free hosting provider and as you can see the domain, uh, this domain is uh, free of cost and also you will be getting a free SSL certificate with it. So let's get into the video. Okay, so we'll be creating the website using these six simple steps. So the first one is getting a free domain. For that search for .cf on Google and select the first link ok search for the domain here and click on the go button now that you will be redirected to freenum uh, if you search for freenum at the first place and search for a domain there you will end up in an error so use this method instead use .cf website and then redirect it to freenum now you can click on the checkout and uh, here you can see that the time period uh, by default is 3 months you can change it to 12 months as you can see up to 12 months it's free Ok now you just need to verify your email address, uh, put on your email address in this uh, column and click on the verify my email address button. Ok here you can see that the verification link has been sent to the email address so let's check our gmail account. As you can see there is a verification mail from Freenum. Click on that email and uh, click on that link to get verified. So uh, you need to add some details of yours here. I am going to add my details. Ok I have just uh, added some random details but you should not forget your password. You should remember your password. And then click on I have read and agree the terms and condition. Then click on the complete order. Okay, now you can see that uh, the order confirmation page is here. Okay, now on the order confirmation page, don't click on this uh, blue button. Click here to go to your client area. You will end up in a 404 error page. So instead, you go to services and select my domains. And you can see that uh, the domain you have bought here. Uh, also, its status is active. Ok, the first step is completed, we have bought a free domain. Now moving on to the second step, getting a free hosting. For that search for infinity free host on Google. And select this uh, second link. Ok, click on this agree option. And uh, click on the register. Now fill up this form. Now accept the terms and condition and clear the captcha and click on create new account. A verification mail has been sent to our email id. So now go to your gmail account and verify your email id. Ok you can see that uh, email from infinity free host is here and click on this verify email address. So now the infinity free account is created, now we need to create a hosting account here. For that click on this create account button. And 
and uh, search for a subdomain here you can search for any domain here because we are not using this domain we will be using the one that we bought from freenum so search for any domain up here now clear the captcha and click on create account okay now you can see that uh, we got our client area and control panel select the client area and you will see our, all our account details over here so the second step is also completed we have got a free hosting plan now the third step is uh, adding the domain to hosting panel for that click on the control panel click on i approve okay so this is our control panel scroll down so you can see that uh, under domains you can see add on domains click on it copy this uh, name servers now go to freenum ok we can log in using our email id and uh, click on services under that my domains select manage domain click on management tools under that name servers and change it to use custom name servers and paste the name server that you have copied from uh, infinity freehost ok now click on change name servers now go back to our control panel and add your domain over here and click on add domain as you can see we have successfully added our domain uh, there is a message say saying congratulations you have been added a new domain uh, to your control panel if, uh, if some error shows up you can wait for 5 to 10 minutes so that uh, it will be successful after that now you can see that uh, under the modify add, add on domain you can see that our domain has been added to our website ok so the fourth step is installing an SSL certificate uh, so let me first uh, tell you what an SSL certificate is if you see uh, right before our domain name you can see that uh, a not secure message and if you click on it you can see that your connection to this site is not secure and if you have a valid SSL certificate you can see a green pad log like this and if you click on it, it, it will say like uh, connection is secure. So let's see how you can add that green padlock on our website. For that, click on the free SSL certificates. Click on new SSL certificate and type in your domain name here. click on check domain now you can see that there are four options over here I am choosing the let's encrypt one and click on the choose provider and if you see the current destination uh, is not ready so we need to change our CNAME records uh, we need to add some CNAME record for that go to control panel and if you scroll down you can see under advanced you can see a CNAME records click on it and you need to add uh, the record name, domain and desti destination for that uh, go to the SSL certificate area and copy the record name and paste it over here which says source and uh, select the domain by default it will be our domain name so you don't have to change it now copy the destination address and paste it over here and click on the add button now you can see that our CNAME record has been added now let's go back to our SSL certificate page just refresh your page as you can see the current destination is still not ready so let's wait for 5 to 10 minutes ok now you can see that our current destination is ready now so the CNAME record change has been uh, successfully completed it took me like around 30 minutes or something so if your status is uh, not ready then just wait for 30 to 60 minutes now go to our control panel then scroll down to security under that SSL TLS now click on the configure button 
and we need to add a private key and also a certificate over here for that click on the free SSL certificate and click on verify and click on verify domain okay now you can see that we are requesting an SSL certificate just refresh your page and you can see that uh, SSL certificate is here to view the SSL certificate you can click on the show button okay you can see the private key and certificate just copy the private key and paste it over here and click on upload key now go back and copy the certificate now go to the cPanel and paste your certificate over here and click on upload certificate ok uh, the uploading is completed now go to your SSL certificate area and refresh the page ok as you can see the status is still uh, no SSL certificate was found so just wait for 5 to 10 minutes ok now you can see that there is a valid SSL certificate uh, over here so it took me like uh, just 2-3 minutes for me now we can just uh, check our domain and see if there is a valid SSL certificate ok you can see that there is a green padlock over here and it says connection is secure so our first step is completed we have installed a free SSL certificate moving on to the fifth step which is installing wordpress for that go to your control panel and scroll down under software you can see that softaclus app installer click on it and choose the first option which says wordpress and click install now choose the latest version of wordpress and select the https in the installation url and select your domain name uh, here's an error saying a trusted ssl certificate was not found but that's not a problem because we have already installed an SSL certificate now if you want you can change your site name I am changing it to Fenny group after that add your username which is for your wordpress dashboard uh, you just need to add a username and password now scroll down and click on the install button ok the installation process has been started just wait until it is finished ok our installation has been successfully completed now you can see our site url and also our administrative url over here let's click on our site url ok our website is ready now now let's jump on to our dashboard url like uh, which is administrative url ok you can see our dashboard and uh, our fifth step is completed we have successfully installed wordpress ok now moving on to our final step which is installing a theme template and required plugins go to your dashboard and uh, go to appearance click on themes and click on add new now search for astra for me the astra is already over here so i am not searching if you don't see astra over here you can just search for astra in the search bar and click on the install button after the installation you can click on the activate button now you can see that the theme has been installed now go to plugins click on add new and in the search bar search for elementor now install the first plugin click on install now next we can search for starter and install the first plugin starter templates after the installation we will be redirected to this page click on build your website now and choose elementor in here you can see a lot of templates you can choose any one of it
okay i'm selecting this one and click on skip and continue now you can change your color option i'm going with the default one and scroll down now click on continue now you don't need to fill up this just click on submit and build to my website and the installing process has been started ok as you can see our template has been installed successfully now click on view your website ok our website is almost ready but if you see in the menu section you can see that our menu is not yet ready so go to your dashboard and click on pages and all pages we just need to check whether if we have all our pages ready as you can see we have the pages we just need to add it to our menu for that go to appearance click on menus and over here select your menu as main menu click on select if you don't have one you can easily create one by clicking create a new menu after that just remove the about page now on the left side you can see that all our pages are here just select all except the sample page and click on add to menu now click on the save menu now if you want to rearrange your menu you can just drag and move around now click on save menu now let's visit our site and see our menu has been added or no ok as you can see that uh, our menu is ready now and that's it we have created a completely free website so if you guys are having any doubts related to this video you can contact me i'll provide my contact details in the description box and uh, also i'll provide the social media handles of leads back you can follow it and if this video helped you guys please give me a thumbs up and uh, if not just dislike the video okay please use these free resources if you are learning wordpress web designing you can use these free resources for learning uh, wordpress web designing but if you are planning to create a website for your business i recommend you to buy a premium domain name and hosting as this is a free plan it, it has a lot of limitations and drawbacks so go on with the premium hosting and domain name if you are planning to create a website for your business and uh, that's it that's it for the video thank you guys we will see you in the next video bye